Well, financial planner fees, there's three basic types of financial planners out there. There's a fee-only financial planner, there's a fee-based financial planner, and there's a commission financial planner. Let me define those for you. A fee-only means exactly what the term says. That person will charge you a fee, they will do a financial plan for you, they will make suggestions and recommendations based on what they see uh, as a, a good program for you, and they don't get paid when you act on any of those suggestions or ideas. Then there's a fee-based financial planner. They'll charge you a fee, and they're also paid some sort of a uh, stipend or remuneration uh, when you act, uh, if you act through them, on one of their suggestions. And then there's commission only financial planners, financial planners that don't charge a fee, but they do get paid by the companies that you do business with. And so the question comes up, well, which one sounds best to you? And the answer would be, well, from one perspective, um, I'll pay my $800 or $1,500 and I'm going to get my financial plan and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and do what I want to do. And that person that gave me that financial plan, uh, since they're not being paid anything uh, on what I do, they've got no incentive to steer me in a particular direction. And there's a lot to be said for that. If that person, if, if all they had was an insurance license, for example, if all I have is a, is, a, is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? If that's the only way I get paid. If all they were doing was uh, securities, and 90% and of the people with a securities license in this country don't have an insurance license. 90% of the insurance agents don't have a securities license. That ought to tell you something. Right? What about real estate agents? Well, they get paid a commission. Right? By whom? The seller. Where does the seller get it? Well, they get it out of their pocket. Where, where, when do they get it? Well, when you buy the house. So they got it from you, the buyer. So when the day is done, the real question is, am I going to get unbiased advice from this individual? And the answer is, that's a big depends. You really have to ask a lot of questions of the person that you're doing business with to find out where their heart is as well as their pocketbook. And you can usually tell the people that have commission breath. All right? because they're pretty much Johnny OneNote. They've got a widget that they're marketing, and they think everybody ought to have their widget. That's not a financial planner. That's a salesman. A true financial planner will do a needs analysis. They won't try to recommend usually anything when they first sit down with you. They're just trying to discover where it hurts, right? And they're trying to help you understand your own situation.